Hello and welcome to iExplores. I am your host Ian. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe. Okay, so today we're going to take a look at the Grimsby to Louth Railway. I have done this before, but I'm going to do it in much more detail. So, okay, now, now I'm stood on, there's the Grimsby Town Station over there. It first opened in February the 29th, 1848. And the first train ran here from Louth in 1847, which I'll tell you a bit more as we go along. So let's go and have an explore. Okay, so I'm now sort of on Gardner Street at the first level crossing. So I'll just turn the camera round. This has been restored recently, this. It's got its original colours on it, look, green and yellow. And this is obviously the level crossing down there. Now, the train came from over where the camera's pointing now to go to Louth and then it headed up that way. So let's go up there and have a look. Okay, so the line was started to be built in 1847. It was originally built to carry fish. Okay, and the very first train that ran out of here to go to Louth was on the 17th of September, 1847, and covered the 14 miles from Grimsby to Louth Keddington Road, which I will show you that later on on this video. Okay, and it took uh, the directors and the VIPs and it was taken 20, a 20 minute journey to get there. Okay, so uh, yeah, and later on the line opened to, the line opened for passenger traffic on the 1st of March, 1848. So uh, let's carry on. Okay, so we've come from the Gardner Street level crossing, which I'll turn the camera round, which is over in that direction there. Okay, so we're now stood on Doughty Road. See the green bridge there? That's now the crossing where the train goes, okay? And if I go over this way, and hopefully I'm pointing the camera in the right direction, see the right white wall down there, that's where the train came out to go to Louth, over that way. And if I bring the camera slowly round, came round here, and went in that direction over there, which are now going to follow it round. Okay, so that's where we're going next. So we've come over Dalsey Road now, and we're now heading roughly where the track was. It's probably in there, in that compound, but we're going this way but it follows it round in a curve. Like I said, it goes down there. So we're going up here a bit. I'm going to go down this way. That's where I've come from behind me there. So we're now going round here. So in front of us is now what's called Peaks Parkway, which is through there. So this is the way we're going to go. So let's get down there and have a look. Uh, okay, so we've now come down to the bit where it, where it, I think it joined the main track, which is this bridge up here. I don't think that bridge is here at the time. I couldn't say for sure, but yeah, it joined the track about here. Up there is the Peaks Parkway, and going that way, off to the right, is where the track carried on and went to the uh, first level crossing. All right, so where we're we going to now. Round on on Winchingham Road. Okay, so we've come. Obviously the railway's running across there, that's the Peaks Parkway, and down here is the first bridge. Now I do know that this road was here back then, so yeah. And there's your first bridge in front of us, so we're going to carry on straight down that way. So we'll now come down onto Patrick Street now, and the train came from that direction there, along here, over that bridge there, and carried on straight down there, and that's where we're going, straight up that way. So we're going to the next bit and where the train went across the road. OK, so let's go and have a look. OK, so this is the Crossing Master's house right in front of you there. It's called the Railway House. I'll zoom in on that in a second. There it is, the old Railway House. And it was got a date of 1847 on there. And up there, obviously a later edition, if I can get it further. Yeah, 1886. So yeah, that is the level crossing Master's House, which was situated over there, which is now the Peaks Parkway. So, so I'm now stood on Wheelsby Road, which used to be a level crossing, obviously a signal box on there. Then later they was removed and the road went actually under the railway and there was a bridge there. OK, so obviously this is now all gone. The bridge and everything has all been filled in and the trains carried on that way towards Waltham. OK, so I'm now back onto the track, which is Peaks Parkway, where the train ran in front of me there. Now in the distance there is a bridge, I'm going to try and get closer to that but uh, I remember seeing that bridge and it's basically like an archway how it used to be but yeah it's just like for a, a farmer to go across so let's go further up and have a look. I'll just come a bit further up and you can see down there I'm on a banking. Now I do know that this was high up and it was dug out for the train to run on so this is basically where I am 
But as you can see on the camera, he's how high the banking was and the train obviously was, was down there. You see on the other side as well, obviously it's been lowered a bit for the road, but okay, let's move on. So I've now come to this bridge. I've uh, found a way up to it. So it is in front of me there, look. It's obviously changed, but I think it was just for farm equipment to get to the other side. But we're going to go up this way and the train's ran under it, as we've just been saying. We're now on top of it. And the train ran that way where the camera's pointing now, towards Alf. And the other way back into Grimsby over there. So we'll just come off Peaks Parkway now, which is behind me, through there. The train came right through the middle of that roundabout, straight down here, and straight down there to the first station, which is Waltham, which is where we're going to go now. But we're actually stood on the actual track bed itself, really flat. Now, like I say, I noticed coming up here, it was a slight incline, and it's a, it was a very deep cut as well, because some of the banks down there are fairly steep. Even still, today, some of it's you know fairly steep, still there but it was a fairly deep cut in some places. So let's go down there and I'll show you roughly where the level crossing was and where Waltham Station was. So let's go and have a look. Okay, just a bit of facts coming up for you now. In 1923, the Great Northern Railway became part of the London North Eastern Railway, LNER. During 1924, most of the Grimsby fish were rerouted to East Lincolnshire line when it was realised that the line was less congested and the fish could arrive in better quality to its final destination, which is really good. Yeah, I did used to use this line, but like I just read there, that's when it got changed. So, uh, OK. OK, so I've just come a bit further along. Uh, we're still on the way to Waltham, obviously. But down there, there is a culvert down there, as you can see. So this is another bridge that the railway went over. If I turn the camera around, it came out that side behind me there. I've come a bit further up now and I've come up to where, well, the only, it's the only thing that's left is like one of these bunker things you see at the side of the railway tracks. I think they still use these kind of things. I don't know what the, was in them, but yeah, this is definitely uh, railway related, this. And there is another one as well, further up, uh, up the track there as we go onward. So yeah. OK, let's move on. We've moved away from that uh, only existing <laughs> bit of uh, whatever they're called. Anyway, so the train came behind me from there and then went straight through that fence there and over Station Road to the first station, which is where we're going to have a look at next. So let's carry on. So I've moved on a bit further now and I've just seen a gap in the fence. Always good. So I'm going to put my camera through there. So, yeah, like I was saying, the train came through that way, through all this lot here. As you can see, it's well overgrown now and all gone and carried on straight in front of me where the camera is pointing. Like I was saying, we're going to take a look at roughly where the level crossing was and also the signal box as well, which I forgot to mention, so let's carry on. So I'm now sat on this bench, but where I'm sat is roughly where the signal box used to be, in this area here. OK. Where I'm actually sat, but yeah, this is where it was. And I'll show you where the level crossing was. There's a lot of cars out at the minute, so I can't really, really do it. But yeah, just one second. OK, so I've now come across the road now. And I'll attempt to turn the camera around in a minute. But yeah, we came from down that way and the tracks came across the road and then headed straight down there to where the station was, which is all this undergrowth down there. So we're going to carry on that way and I'll show you where the station was and anything else we can find on the way down there. So let's go. So we're now on the other side of the road now to show you the level crossing and that. Now we're now going to look, like I said, where the uh, Waltham station was. I'm now walking down this path here. OK, it's not as overgrown as I thought, looking pretty good. Well, let's go through here and have a look and I'll show you where it was. We'll come a bit further down now. And if I move the camera upwards and turn around this, here, here, here is where the station was. And the station master's house is in front of where the uh, camera is. All this area here, there was also sidings as well. OK, running down here. And it also went back right down there as well is where we're going to go. OK, so Waltham Station started off as Umberston and it changed its name later on. So anyway, so Waltham Station up on the 1st of March 1848 to passengers and it closed to passengers on the 11th of September 1961 and then it carried on taking uh, goods traffic up and down for a while until the 15th of June 1964. OK, so most of the stations down here roughly will have closed around about that time. So, uh, OK, let's continue. We've moved along a bit further now. Now, I'm roughly on the track bed, OK, which roughly in this area came through all that undergrowth over there and come into where I am, and now heads off in that direction, OK? Hey, you don't often see a bath, do you? 
There you go, bath in the middle of a the field. There you go, this is where we are. Okay, well, that, well that's Waltham and that, and that road there goes to Louth. Okay, that's the A16 in the distance there, so we're, we're going to carry on and go down here, but you fancy a bath when he comes down here. There you go, hops off. Okay, a little bit of fun, so let's carry on back onto the track bed and carry on that way. It's um, like what we saw back up there like a storage bunker, I don't know if you can see it very clearly in there. A bit more of it there, I've just come uh, slightly around the other side. As you can see, yeah, it's down there. Fent post at the side of the railway track. Now there's one here and there's a few that way as well. And also if I turn around, you can see these ones much better. The leaves used to run at the side of the track. But again, and I have found some fence posts on this side. You can see there's one down there. One down here, and there's one straight through there. So this is the edge of the other side of the line. Further now, now we've come to this. Which would have had a semaphore signal on it, I'm assuming. Looking at that, that. Yeah, look at this. Actually says L-N-E-R on the side of there. It's got a number 17627. Look at that. I'm going to go a bit closer. I have been down here before, but I came researching. You have to research things. But let's see if I can... Yeah, there's the ladders. I'm right next to it. As you can see up there. This is the ladders back at the bottom. Well, it's still sturdy as well. Very sturdy. And down there, looks like they're all down... Yeah. So, oh, that's a chip. What's this? Oh, hello. Oh, what's that? Now, I don't know what that is. I'm not sure if it's one of them things that they used to pass on to get through a, a station, is it? But look at that. If anybody can tell me what that is in the comments, that'd be fantastic. So I haven't got a clue. It was in the ground down there. Okay, so I've crawled into this edge here, and I think I found a possible sleeper. As you can see, it goes up to there. It's about the right length. Now, I can't see any thing in it, but it's possible. Okay, so I've uh, come to a stop now. The train obviously carries on in that direction through there. Okay. And uh, that's what we'll be exploring next, further on that way, but obviously not through this. Right, so we'll be going to like, uh, let's say North Orsby first, uh, Altonley Clay, have a look around there. So that's where we're going to go next, not through that. So we've now come to what is the Altonley Clay station. You can see there, the station master's house there. You can see there the gates there on that side. And on the other side as well, which we're going to drive up there in a minute. OK, so we're now going to take a walk up now towards the crossing, which I'll turn the camera around there, which we've just done a, a zoom in on. And there it is. Let's get across the road. I want to get run over, but yeah, we're going to walk a little bit further and I'll show you. We're nearly there, look, as you can see. So we're now coming up to the level crossing. I'm going to turn the camera around. You can see there, look, there's the gate you used to go through to get round it. It's obviously been uh, barricaded. Let's go across the road, this side. So I just showed you the station master's house there, but they are, it's the gates. So it used to come through there. Now, when I did the filming the last time, I stopped at the other end of all this. As you can see, this is the other side of all the undergrowth where I was. And look how tall the posts are for the gates. See, that's big. That one's quite small, but that is quite big. But yeah, as you can see, these are the gates. Obviously came across this road here and headed in that direction straight through there but yeah this is it and so uh, this is not part of the railway thing i'm doing but look at that <laughs> i've been there years it's obviously an old bomb from the second world war yeah look at that it's an entrance to a farm as well but yeah that's been there a long time okay so let's move on to the station again now here we go we're actually going across the level crossing there's that side and there's the other side so uh okay so let's carry on to the uh the next um, location, station or alt. So let's keep going. So I've just done some close-ups there of uh, North Forsby Station and part of the railway there. Now, following a public inquiry in 1991, a light railway order was granted. North and Eastern Lincolnshire PLC was allowed to develop the line. They bought the track between Louth and Waltham from British Wales, but prevented from buying it all the way from Grimsby due to the Peaks Parkway project, which we all know about. 
This left 10 miles of track which could be developed. So about five miles either side of, the, of Loughborough. Since that time, the money permitted Loughborough station has been redeveloped and a signal box was rebuilt in the Great, in the great Northern style. A waiting room which houses a small museum and shop and a paved platform and two lane engine shed. So there you go, that's open down there. And it says, in 19, oh yeah, 2001, a development of the North Platform, which was built of, of a toilet blocks, disabled and changing facilities and that. So basically you can go from here to Loughborough on, on the train when it is. They have got various dates. And obviously if you go on uh, the website, you'll be able to find it. So yeah, so uh, let's carry on to the actual, uh, one of the stations and let's go and have a look at what's left down there. Well now, coming up to North Falls, we can see the sign there. So let's, uh, let's move on into it. There we go. You can see the sign there. We're coming up to the actual level crossing itself, which is in front of me. And we're going to take a look around this in a minute. I'll just go drive past this first. Let's have a look. Go over the other side of the road. There's a station master's house there. As you can see down there, you can't go down there. Oh, there it is, the old platform. And see that down there, look? That's where the old signal box will have been in there. Yes, down there, you see that old platform, very big. So let's go and have a look across the other side of the road. Okay, so we've now come across the other side of the road there. Okay, let's have a look, there we go. It's obviously all been re, uh, redone and that. There's the gates there, we see the train came across on that side. You've just seen look, that platform. And obviously headed off where it is now, it's still there, some of it. So yeah, you go through there. Really good, so uh, okay, I'll do some close-ups on this. It's a, just about starting to rain as well, so okay. Just notice, see, look at this, look. Bits of railway track. <laughs> yeah, look at that. I just noticed that, I'll just turn around then. But yeah, look at these. Bits of old railway tracks there, holding up a fence. So, okay, brilliant. Okay, so now I'll come up to Ludborough. As you can see there, that's the sign for the level crossing that's in front of us. I've just done some close-ups on it, which I shall put over some of this video. So let's go and have a closer look. There we are. I'm actually, as you can see there, I'll zoom as much as I can. Look at this. This is Ludborough. Okay, so if I turn the camera around, you'll see it's right in front of us there. There's the level crossing. It does go across that road and goes that way to North Forsby, as you can see it's up there, so we're going to get a bit closer. I will do some more close-ups on this as well. Okay, so now I'm driving up to the level crossing itself. And there we go, I'm going to put the camera there, virtually where my bike's going. And we're going to go past it. We get closer and closer here. As you can see, it's the only intact one that has been refurbished, as I mentioned earlier on in this video. As you can see, here it is. Welcome to the Lincolnshire Walls Railway. I say they do run this from time to time. I look down there, I'm going to stop. Right in the middle. I'm right in the middle of the track, but there it is. As you can see. I'm hoping to go on this myself soon, other than a Halloween one soon. But that's the way down there to North Forsby on the other side. And there you go. Obviously, she lost two tracks at one time. You can see there, but it's just a single track now. But it's really nice that this is still here and you can still actually go on it. It's in there, look, the signal box. I'll do some close ups on this shortly. The telephone there, look, in the, uh, and as you can see down there, it's like a barrel that they used to use, but yeah. So it's closed at the moment, but uh, it's an old semaphore signal. I'm going to turn the camera back round again on that side. You can imagine this back in the day. I mean, I can see in the distance down there North Forsby, but yeah, this is excellent. And you can see there, the crossing, there's the track still in the ground, as there was in 1848. So I've come uh, on the other side now, as I've just been showing you there. I've done quite a few close ups. Turn the camera around. So I say there's an old engine at the back there, which I've done a close-up on, and they only go over the crossing now on my bike there. Just to show you as we come round here. There we go. 
here it is and on that side and up that side and there's the rail okay so uh let's move on okay so we're now at Louth now let's go and find a uh, level crossing and a station let's go okay so i'm now in Louth and i'm now still on kennington road i hope i've said that right i've now come to the level crossing which is here look I came through there and you can see the gates and still look at that the signal uh, box is still there as well look at this and obviously this ran straight across the road there to Louth station itself which where we'll be going to shortly but i can't believe this is still here i'm going to walk back down here there's a the big post look like we saw back then but that uh, signal box, look at this, massive, it's still there. It's got signs on it, it says beware of the train and that, but I'm not, uh, somebody's private uh, uh, place, so. Yeah, but look, it's still there, and there's the gate, I've just come in through, like I said. The train came from that direction through there, I'm gonna stand roughly here. It came from over there, straight through here, where I'm stood, and straight across the road, straight through there. And like I said, we're gonna look at Louth Station itself. And some of these buildings over there, that were the black roof there, that's part of it. And obviously the track was through there where the houses are. But look how good this is. Absolutely massive. I'm going to move up a little bit and have a look, have a bit more look. But yeah, that is the station and it's still there. So let's go to the other side. Absolutely magnificent. Let's see there, look, where you went through. I'm going to have one more ride past the station now. I'll just come up to it right there, can see it. Here it is. So let's go and ride past it. So you know, another look. As you can see, absolutely magnificent. I'm glad it's still there. So the Grimsley one's still standing and this one is. So all started in 1848. And I've already told you when it all finished earlier on, on this video. So yeah, that's where you went through, through there. So we'll come to the end of another video there. That was the Grimsby to Louth uh, Railway. I hope you enjoyed that one. And I'd like to thank all my new members for joining my channel, welcome. I'd like to thank all of you for all for watching my content. Very much appreciated. It always helps the channel. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. And on that note, I'll see you next time on the next video. Bye for now.